We're just going to do this really quickly manually. And I'm just going to rotate this. Sure I am. I'm going to select this and get really close and then rotate it in. There we go. I'll drop that in. And I'm also going to send him backwards. All right, so now we have some ears. We're ready to go. See, drawing is easy. Look how much fun this is. If you right click on the cursive F, you can also scale these effects all at one time. So I can go into an individual one, or I can come up here and scale all these effects at one time. Okay? So that is cool. It's incredibly cool. And then I can come over here and go, you know what, I want to fine tune something like just that stroke. Before we had the app builder, what we'd have to do is we'd actually have to create buttons here so that you press play and then it tells it to walk through the entire state here. But now that we have our folio overlay and we create this multi-state object, I can go ahead and I can have this autoplay. So when I open this up in my app, it's going to autoplay. Or I can have it tap to play or pause. I can also swipe through it as well. Or I could have it automatically go through every two seconds and I can have it fade as it goes across and loop as well. Um, this is a wonderful uh, piece. This is called a triple spinner. This is from Information Packaging in Toronto. Isn't that wild? They do these entirely by machine, which is neat too. Some of these really interesting formats can also be uh, automated, which is fascinating and wonderful for those of you in the audience who do long run mail. I think there's kind of a perception sometimes that you can't do anything interesting because you're doing such high quantities and that's kind of the opposite. I want to choose the color that I want to work with. So I'll pick up my color picker, pick up my issue gray. Looks good, but kind of heavy. So new tool in the capabilities of Pitstop 12 is gradients. You can add and edit existing gradients in it. You can also add additional points to any of the gradients. Okay, so I'm going to select all of these and then go back. You can see how much I rely on this shape builder tool. I just option or alt drag each one of these to say cut these out like this and I also want this one cut out. So now I have this basic shape. If I go back to preview, I've got my basic gear shape. And I like to say that the greatest thing about the internet is also the most challenging thing about the internet. And that's this ability to reach everybody in the world, potentially. But it's also about really having to give up, having it look exactly the same to everyone, because it's just not possible to deliver the same site to every one of even the three most popular devices and screen sizes. 